Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. This is the Art of Storytelling. If you're not familiar with it, you already know what time it is. It's just the same old thing, man. I tell a story about probably a bad day I had or something like that, man, but uh, we're just going to get right into it. So anyway, man, start the day off. I'm already running late. LJ has his therapy on Friday, so, you know, I have to uh, get him to that. And you know how I did when you got kids, you running late. You, you just go, you do anything to get them out of the house. I'm doing this by myself pretty much anyway. So it's clothes and ass and feet and just everything. Socks and shit everywhere. You know, we got to take a bath and all that good stuff. So anyway, we get out, we get out of the house. We're running late. We get to the, uh, we get to the place. He ain't have his shoes on. So I put his shoes on, put them down on the ground. He want to try to take off in the parking lot. So you know, you got to stop your kids from killing themselves or impaling themselves on a branch. You got to pop them and do something to them. We get in there and the therapy lady like, you know, why is he upset? I said, because first of all, I want to tell him mind your own fucking business. But, you know, to be cautious, I was just like, look, man, he tried to run in the parking lot. So he had to be reprimanded, you know, just like that. So she goes in, come back out of hour, a couple minutes later. We was already late. I think we were like 25 minutes later, something like that. So he only got about 30 minutes of his therapy. And she come out like, um, like, you know, we get to the point where it's very important for him to have the whole. I'm like, bitch, do you got kids? Do you understand what type of struggle it is to get them out the fucking house in the morning? Sometimes when they don't want to be, you know, they already don't want to get up. They already don't want to go to school. And you're going to tell man, you don't go back there and do that damn thing. But you know what? It's all good. I said, you know what? Uh, duly noted. And I, I, just, I just went on about my day. But anyway, uh, you know, you just need to do your job. Sometimes you just got to do your job with the, with the hand that you dealt. Speaking of which, we just, this is where the bad day started right here. I had to go to do, you know, I do IT work. And I do IT work all around Atlanta. And I we had to go to over, over to College Park. This is one of the most hood places ever. Now, if you live in College Park, look, man, I grew up over there way, so don't get mad. But, you know, when you leave and come back, you see you see what Old National really about. So I go over there, and, man, the doggone place, like some of the apartments that we do are, are like the upper echelon apartments. So I'm used to going into a room where they have, like, a server room. You know, they got a networking room. You know, they have things in the in the, in the apartment complex, um, in, the, in the office that are, that are set up in the nice. I go in here. They don't have a closet. They don't have a server room. They don't have a, a switch or, or a router room. They ain't got shit. They ain't even got no drops in the whole place. And if you want to know what a drop is, a network drop, you know where you plug Ethernet cord into the wall. They ain't have that shit. They had holes drilled into the wall with Ethernet cords running through them. And some of the damn crawl spaces, I'm sitting here like, how the fuck did y'all get it through that? Did y'all have to use some, uh, like, a, like a fisherman line? Or did y'all have a pet snake? put the shit in his mouth and crawl through from, from one side to the other. I don't know how they got it through there. But, uh, you know, because some, uh, some of them, you just drilling through the wall, you just drilling through the beam, and there's a little gap there. And some of them, it was like a 15-foot gap. So I don't know. Maybe they did really fish it. I have no clue. I don't even want to know. All, I want, all I'm telling you is I went over there. They didn't have any drops. So when they didn't have any drops, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what the problem is. So I go in there. I go in there to figure out what the problem is. And the problem was that uh, one of the switches was blown. So I got a, I have an industrial switch in my, in my, in my truck, but I was like, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to go do the, uh, do the switch because if I had a, if I put that over, that's a $400 switch. That's more than all their networking equipment and all that stuff combined. So I, I'm like, fuck that. I'm not leaving this switch over here as a managed switch too. It had wireless and everything real nice. So I'm like, fuck all that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive over here. I go right around the corner to, um, to, um, Office Depot or somewhere like that. So I try to go to Office Depot and say the nearest Office Depot or staple is the Camp Creek Marketplace 15 minutes away. Like, what the fuck? So I get the I get the uh, bright idea. I say, you know what? I'm going to go to Walmart. They're going to have to have it. Man, they ain't had no switches at Walmart. How the fuck does Walmart have no switches? The only switch they probably had at Walmart was somebody getting ready to whoop their child ass or something like that. So at this point, Walmart was one mile away, so it was five minutes away. At this point, I got to go over to Camp Creek, and because I got to go to Camp Creek, I went in the other direction to go to the Walmart, and so when I so I had to go back to Camp Creek. So now it's 20 minutes now, so I'm driving 20 minutes out of my way. So it's a 40 minute round trip to go over there and come back. I'm cool with this. I get back over there, and I'm like, now I'm trying to figure out which cord, which cable is the one that leads to the thing. And because this shit is going through the wall, I don't know which cable feeds the actual switch. So I'm like, fuck it, I just put all of them in there. I would have, but when I went over there, they had only a 16 port switch and a five port switch. Obviously I wasn't gonna buy the 16 port switch, so one of the cables had to be assed out. So I didn't have enough because I needed six ports, but one of the cables didn't go to anything at all. I just don't know which cable it is. So I'm sitting there trying cables like a motherfucker. So come down to it, in the front they have a switch that don't even have lights on. Like, how you got 
a switch that ain't even got lights on it. Bitch don't got no lights on it. It don't tell you. It's one of the old um the Cisco Cisco Lynx's switches. It don't have any lights on it, so it don't have any indicating lights telling you where you are or, or you know what you're doing. So I have to go up there and just do guesswork. So you know I just said, well fuck it, this one working. I'll put the switch, put it in here and go back there. Copy is still don't fucking fire you up. Everything else fire up. The copy don't fire you up. They got a surge protector that's got the copier. This got the line running into the copier to the wall. So somehow, going from the copier to the surge protector was blown. But from the surge protector to the damn switch that got hit by lightning, that line was good. So I had to take that shit out and put that in the copier and, and just forego the surge protector and just put all that in there. Make a long story short, man. I get over there and I'm spending 20 minutes over there. I'm going around, going room to room, sweating like a bitch because it's hot over there. Because like I said, they ain't got no closet. They just got a little room where all the shit was in. And I mean, it, man, it was just crazy. But anyway, get up out of there. Head on down to the um, head on down to the uh, Wendy's to get me one of them four for four. Cause I don't know I'm a junior bacon cheeseburger, man. Come out there, dude is sitting there. Like I didn't even know people still did this shit. Dude is in a green uh Lexus RX, lime green Lexus RX. I know they don't make them in that color, so you had to pay for that shit. And he just booming. I mean, this dude trolling me from from when we the whole Wendy's line. He booming. He only turned the music down to order his fucking food. Then when he ordered it. Then he, he was like, all right, well, I don't order my food. Turn that shit right back up. So the person behind you can't even get, can't even order. Like, what the fuck are you thinking? Like, I, I didn't even know people still did dumb shit like that. But hey, it is what it is. So he trolling me with the music. I'm good, man. You know, I ain't even tripping. So I get ready to head on out. I'm headed up 285 because I got to go up to Alpharetta. And my boss was like, you know, I need you to sit up. He texted me and said, I need you to sit up three iPads. I said, so what are three iPads? And he's like, yeah, it ain't three. It's eight. Eight? How the fuck you go from three to eight? You done almost tripled the shit, dog. Like, what? So I got to come up there and set up three iPads. So I'm setting up the three iPads and all of that. And then all this time, the real boss man, the, the, um, the real big boss man, he coming in and out, you know, asking me questions. And I'm like, dog, I don't have them set up yet, so everything ain't going to work right. You know how it is when your boss be riding your ass and you ain't even really got the shit done yet. But anyway, get the, get those iPads straightened up. And while I'm, doing, while I'm fixing the iPads, Bridget called me like 30 times. I'm like, why the fuck do you keep calling me? I'm busy. You know I'm at work. You know I'm not at home today. So what's going on? She like, the alarm done went off. Keep in mind, I told you what happened earlier. Alarm went off. Well, does it say anybody in the house? Is it anybody on the camera? No, nah, nobody on the house. And the camera say it's out of touch. I check and make sure that my computer was on. My computer's on. I'm like, ain't nobody still shit, so just turn the alarm off. She's talking about, nah, I'm going to send your sister by the house. What? Nigga, you know that I had to get out that house this morning. By my damn self, right? I, you know, we, we going right back to that, right? I told you I had to get out the house by myself this morning. So my sister go over there and see how dirty the motherfucking living room is because it's clothes and shit all over the living room because I had to clean the shit up and get, get my uh, son out by myself this morning. So now she's thinking I'm living like a motherfucking pigsty and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a hog, a slob and all of that shit and called me like, well, what's going on? I'm like, dog, look, man, I don't even know what you're talking about. I just played, I don't know what you're talking about. Cause she's like, well, stuff was everywhere. What I'm gonna tell her? Shit, I'm trying to get my little boy out there. I said, you know what? I should have did that. I was like, you know what, man? It ain't shit, man. Don't worry about this shit. I should have just told him, when you have your own kids, you'll understand. But fuck all that. So anyway, long story short, nobody broke into the house or none of that. What happened is the power went out on this side of town. And nobody, Bridget went back home and my sister went in there. And neither one of them noticed that the fucking power was out. And that's why the alarm kept going off and saying that it was being tampered with. Like somebody to cut the line outside. But anyway, we ain't going to talk about that no more, man. You know. So I get all this done. I like I check everything out when I go home. Just lock the house up. Make sure everything locked. Y'all know my house got broken to a couple years ago, so I bought impenetrable fucking windows on the backside. So niggas cannot break in. Like you literally have to have a fire axe to break in this motherfucker. So I know nobody was breaking in. So I knew we was good. So and my stuff was still there, so I was straight. But anyway, man, so I'm like, I'm gonna head on home. Get ready to head home. You know 800 people. When you the IT guy, 800 people got something to do at the office. Take care of all them head home. 285 to my house, 45 minute ride from Alpharetta. This bitch says one hour and 50 minutes. There's three routes you can take. You can take 80, you can take 285 west, 285 east, or straight down 75. All three of them motherfuckers said of hour and 50 fucking minutes, man. What the fuck? So now I'm sitting in traffic listening to our hard eight times like behind bars. If you ain't listening to that, that's the realest damn shit on YouTube. Go check that out. Link in the description, all that shit. So I'm listening to Life Behind Bars and just random videos and shit like that. And, um, I mean, it took two hours to get home, so now my mouth dry. I'm hungry in the motherfucker, all that. But I only got time to do 
to go get LJ. Bridget calls. She's like, well, you want to meet me at the movies? Fuck no! I just been driving all day. Don't you know? I'm sweat. I'm sweaty. I'm hot. But damn, um, I, I figured out once I once I started driving and started sweating and shit, I found out my dog pissed on my shirt last night. When I had laid, I don't laid the shit out like I'm like I'm going to school, you know, like you know how niggas lay, lay the shit out before they go to school. I don't lay the shit out like I'm going to school. My dog done pissed on my shirt, so I'm stinking and sweating, and I'm trying. I gotta be close to people wondering. I done Febreze the bitch down because I got a bottle of Febreze in the car, spray the bitch all over me. That shit ain't really do nothing. So you know, I'm just like whatever, man. If motherfuckers think I'm stinking. They just think I'm staying. I done put on all types of brute and them, uh, uh, all deodorant, everything, then masking the smell. I'm sure that they couldn't smell it, but to me, it was stinging like a motherfucker. So I was just like, fuck it, I just want to get home, get caught at the office for three hours, like I said, then I'm in the car for two more hours. All I want to do is go get my son, get home, and she asking me, do I want to go to the movies? Fuck no! But anyway, I get to the house, I found out, I was like, yo, the power's just out or whatever. Before I, before, before I get to the house, though, I'm like, let me go to Wendy's and get me another 4 for 4. Get to Wendy's, order the 4 for 4. The damn shit was silent, so I didn't even know the dude could hear me. He was like, yeah, I can hear you, man. Everything good. Got the 4 for 4. And then I get there, tell him I need a 4 for 4, the all chicken. Y'all already know what it is, the all chicken 4 for 4, because, you know, I need the maximum num number of chicken products at one time. So I got an all chicken 4 for 4. A coat with no ice and some fries. I get in the damn car, the coat got ice in it. That was the last fucking strop. I almost threw that shit back in the chick face. If she wasn't kind of cute, she might have just caught that shit in the face. But it is what it is. So now I'm riding on to the house, and really what was the last straw was um well not the last straw, the second to last straw was I get to the house and I'm like uh you know I pull up to the four way stop sign that's a little little bit outside my little neighborhood or whatever. I'm like all right, bet man. You know how you signal somebody, you know, go ahead, go ahead and go, dog. You you got it. Go ahead and go. So uh, I'm trying to tell him, go ahead and go. This motherfucker don't even want to go ahead and go. But guess what? As soon as I push my gas, this motherfucker want to go. So I'm just like, you know what? Normally I stop and I wait, but this time I just hit the gas. I'm like, fuck it. If you hit it, I got insurance. I'm, I'm in here. I ain't even worried about it. And then I thought I was good. Got in the house. I realized that the power was just out and all that stuff. I'm like, y'all didn't realize the power was out? Nah, we didn't realize the power was out. It is what it is. So I was just like, all right, man. You know, power was out. Everything was good. Uh, nobody stole shit. I done checked everything, did all the rounds. They couldn't even got in here. But it's hot as a bitch in here because the air conditioner wasn't on because the air conditioner is controlled by my alarm system, right? And and it wasn't on. So I was just like, you know what? And some Desmond Bridge was like, well, I couldn't turn the alarm off remotely. Motherfucker, you couldn't turn it off remotely because the power was out and the battery backup was drained. Like, what did you think was gonna happen? But anyway, it is what it is, man. So get on to the house, start the commentary, get everything loaded up, find me two videos to link together so I can do this damn thing for y'all. And then I get halfway through the commentary. First time, Bridget called, I had to start the bitch over. Second time, somebody else called him. Shit, gotta start the bitch over. Third time, goddamn dude that cut my lawn, he knocking at the fucking door, so I had to start the bitch over again. So this is the third time I done done this damn commentary. And you know what? I really don't even give a flying fuck what happened from here? Y'all see we playing on 2K, we damn near, we losing, we was losing. And, and fuck it, we might lose this game, but I don't care. That was just cap off this ass day that I'm having, man. But you know, it is what it is, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the story. Hope you had a good laugh at my expense. I hope that the things that happened to me today never happened to anybody else on a daily basis. Because this is just some dumb shit that happened. I mean, it wasn't really a bad day. It could have been worse. But you know what? Sometimes you just have one of them days where a whole bunch of little shit happened to you and you feel like it's a bad day. And I don't know what the fuck you doing. That's a green, that's a green contest. You know, so you know it's live. I'm actually watching the thing. Trays up! Splash down! Get us out of here, baby! You know we out of here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the story. I mean, like I said, all the storytelling is something I've been doing forever. And uh, you know, I hope y'all enjoy. If y'all want another one, y'all let me know. But this is what I need y'all to do. If you made it this far, count up the number of L's that I took today. And put them down there in the comments. Let me know how many L's I took today. And I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 at this smoke. Fuck! That was so fucking epic!